Hey guys, so I know it's been a while since I've had a new guitar tutorial video. Uh, I've been pretty busy, but uh, I finally found time to get around to one. I've been trying to keep on top of uh, all, your, all the different comments and questions I've gotten. And uh, yeah, keep them coming if you guys have questions. I try and answer as soon as possible. Um, so today I'm going to be teaching the song Take Heart by Hillsong United off the album Aftermath. This is one of my favorite songs off of... Aftermath for a whole variety of reasons and one of them being that it is awesome and a lot of fun to play Although it is challenging. Uh, there's a lot of finger picking going on. This song is probably the one that took me the longest to get down off the new record So um, I'm gonna say right now. I'm not the best at finger picking. I'm okay But uh, so I I don't think I play exactly what they play especially in the verses the intro might be a little bit different, but you'll get very much the gist of it from uh, what I play. So give it a listen, maybe give the record a listen, add in a couple extra notes of your own. Uh, so I'll be taking a couple liberties with it, but for the most part it'll be what's on the record. So here goes. Okay, first thing you notice, cable 4, so you're playing uh, in the key of B, but you're playing chords like you're playing in G. So if I'm talking about chords, I'll be talking about them as if they are in G, not in the key of B. So, uh, transposing your brain if you need to. Um, so this intro line, it's probably the hardest part of the whole song to get down. Lots of picking. Um, I'll try and break it down as much as possible, but I'm not great at picking. So, I'll do my best. First, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you the chord shapes that... Uh, you're going to be picking on, so you can get the left hand down and then bring in the right hand. So, first chord is an E minor, then you play an E minor 7th, so you're just adding on your ring finger on the 3rd uh, fret with reference to capo on the B string, so... And the next chord is uh, not really, it's a uh, pieces of a chord, so if you take your C like this and take off your pointer finger and your pinky finger, then you have. And then you can play second fret E string. And then just a part of a G. I only fret the uh, third fret on the E string and play the uh, D, G, and B strings. So the chords. Now I'm going to try and break down the picking pattern. So on the E minor first, you pluck your E and B strings, and then after that, it's all on your B, uh, D, and G strings, or B, G, and D. So you're going the same pattern, so you're just doing B, G, So you do that three times, once with the seventh, and then B, D, seventh B. So but remember the first one, throw on the low E, and that makes it sound a lot more full. So. That's on the E minor. Then comes that kind of C chord I was talking about. So you start off by plucking the A and E strings. And this one you're mostly going to be flipping between your B, uh, E and G strings. So. And then you hit the G. So that, again, sorry, that's hard for me to really break it down, but... That 
that's pretty much as much as I can break down that intro, so it's... Now comes the next part. It's kind of based on a D chord. I just play the G and the B strings of the D chord. And so I kind of changed my fingering there. And uh, I find it pretty important to use this finger on your G string there. So after coming out of that other part, you're on the uh, kind of G shape. And then, so you on the G string, second and fourth fret. So you do the slide from 2nd to 4th to open, so, and then you do 2nd open, and you pop over to your D string and hammer on to your 2nd fret. So. changes a little bit, it hangs on the for longer, so a lot to take in. It's it's hard to learn, but slow down the video and try and figure out what I'm playing. So I'll play the whole intro now, a little slower than they do on the record, just so you can kind of hear how it all goes together. I'm just kind of picking loosely on the chords, um, not the same exact same picking pattern they do, but these are the chords for the verse, so G, C, G, D, slash, F sharp, E minor, then back to G, C, and notice the second time I'm playing my C like this and not like this, that's important. Because, now we'll play it how I do the picking pattern, so... So that's kind of a little hook in the verse. So, what I'm doing there is I... If you've got your C shape, I don't start with the any of these uh, fingers fretted, but you pick the A string and then you hammer on to your first fret on the B string, and then third fret on the E string. So, and that's a really nice uh, little hook that kind of livens up that line. And then the second time it doesn't going into the so take heart, it doesn't do the. Sometimes I throw it in anyways because it sounds pretty. But, so the verse again is... So 
if you can get that far, that's the hardest part. Now, I pick up a pick, and this is what's happening in the, so take heart. So it's all on your uh, B and G strings, and so it goes. So that's B, B, second fret, G, open. So it does that three times, and then it goes first fret, B. So that is the, so it does three times, and then once, like that, but that's only when they're singing, when there's no singing, and it's kind of the interlude between the two sung parts, it's just four times, so I'll play that through uh, like this. whole thing I just played does that twice and that's the so take heart part. What I normally do is I play it uh, with a dotted eighth note delay, well I play the whole song almost with uh, my carbon copy on which has the modulated uh, analog delay so it's really warm and it fills it out but it's not time locked so when I'm doing the it fills it out but it's not right on time and when I'm doing the part, I layer delays, so I have my carbon copy on for the kind of round, warm analog sound. I also use my DD20 with the dotted eighth note, and I put them on at the same time, and it goes like... So that's how I play the chorus uh, live. That's not what they do on the record, but it fills it out better for what, um, how I play it. So that's that. So then it goes back to the verse, which is the same as verse 1. Then it goes back to the so take heart, the same as what I just played there. And then there's the interlude break, where you go back to the part, which is exactly the same as the intro. So no difference there. And then we come to the... I guess, bridge. There's a little instrumental break, uh, lots of strings, lots of keys, uh, about two or three guitars doing different things there. Um, I'm actually not going to teach exactly what's played there because I don't play it because of the instrumentation of the band I usually play with. Um, and I'm taking off my capo for the bridge. So I'm taking off my capo, I'm changing something up and our keys player just is riding it out. So I have never bothered to figure out this next part. And so what I do actually in the first part of the bridge is I play a line that I'm pretty sure I made it up. I might have got it off someone else, but I'm pretty sure I made it up. Either way, it's pretty easy. And this is what I play through the first All Our Troubles, All Our Fears, um, that bridge, when it's uh, sung low. So I do this on the B and E strings, 11th and 12th fret. And then 12th fret and 12th fret. And then 9th and 12th. And then 12, 11. So with delay, that sounds like. So that's what I play through the first half of the bridge, and it really complements what our keys player does, so it's not exactly on the record, but I like it. So then, here comes uh, the next bridge, and what I do is I switch to chording now, and it's not, it's pretty straight up, I just do power chords, but the time is a little funky, so I'll go through it. Uh, so the chords are B, C sharp, So this is the timing. So the weird 
parts are the C sharp minor slide, so it's like. And then the F sharp or the F sharp is probably the weirdest one. So you're on the E. So you're holding the F sharp for a lot longer than the other ones. And that's basically as that keeps building, I layer on my distortions and keep just running that line over and over to lay out because uh, keys and strings and whatnot are taking care of a lot of the main melody stuff so I kind of take a back seat there take a breather after all that picking so hopefully that all made sense uh, I know it can be a really tricky song to get on the first go but uh, put some time in and it's once you get it it's it's a sweet song to play and uh, I just really like the lyrically and everything as well so, I guess I will play it with the record now, and uh, good luck following along.